You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we will be doing a uh, combination of Raw and SmackDown from this past week. Yeah, due to bad weather, we weren't able to get this done earlier, so we're just going to combine the two of them together. AK, Matt didn't want to drive in the snow. Hey, I would have gotten stuck, man. It was really bad. <laughs> I almost died on the way home. It yeah, was ex- pretty bad. Exactly. So, um, Yeah. Bad weather kind of ruined the week. Mm, whatever. But... Another thing that ruined the week? No, just kidding. Well, you know, it wasn't that bad. No, it 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 was all right. I, I just felt I don't know. We're in the we're in the the slog between the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania. Yeah, but I felt like I just felt kind of not in tune with Raw. Um, like I just felt like I was GM and just playing on my phone half the night. I mean, it's fair. I, I don't know. Well, there's a couple of interesting ha- things that yeah. happened. Well, you want to talk about the interesting uh, opening segment that we got? Um, yeah, so, timing, right, so timing is everything, all right, by yeah. the way. Before we get into <laughs> it, it was said that Rousey is going to be on every Raw leading up until WrestleMania. That's a good thing, because she really needs practice. I agree. So, However... We're going to get designated segments like this. As long as they don't mean event the show, I guess I'm yeah, all right. Yeah, if they open the show every week, yeah, that's fine. That's or right. have, have her in the middle yeah, or whatever. And, and no long, long segments. And surprisingly enough, Triple H and Stephanie are actually doing a pretty good job carrying her. Because yeah. Stephanie's 100% doing all of the, t- the talking work, really. Well, there's kind of a reason for that. Well, I know. I'm just yeah. saying that she's doing a good job. It's not like they're letting her just, like flop yeah yeah because no. i know like when they were and obviously it's not the same thing but mm-hmm. when they were pushing roman the first time they were just throwing him out no. there yeah and at least with this are you, you saying have, that they're learning no oh okay that, that's not the case it's know. just it, it's i think they know better that it's a completely well, fresh face that, this is a big investment here it is also i'm true. sure they threw yeah. a lot of money hell this is the reason we didn't have pyros all this year no, i'm just kidding they, last year yeah, you know. <laughs> It's fair. It's fair. Uh, it, I thought we will, it, at some point I saw a sign that says I missed the pyro. Yeah, there was like a couple that. recently. Yeah. So are we going to get them for WrestleMania? The pyros? Yeah. Well, Roman's going to get them when he wins the universal title. I don't know about <laughs> You shut else. your damn mouth. It's going to happen. Yeah, I know. It's the only thing that's guaranteed to happen. It's if Lesnar shows up. Yeah. Well, either way, even if he doesn't, he's still going to win it. <laughs> Winner by default, Roman. Oh, it's gonna be shit, Roman. We still got a half hour it's to kill. It's gonna be Roman Reigns against God, just like Shawn Michaels. <laughs> with, again, oh, it was Shane and Vince against yeah, Shawn, Shawn Michaels, Michaels and God. God yeah, and yeah match. I remember. I remember. But Good yeah, stuff. this basically set up the mixed tag match that we all kind of figured was going to happen and was reported to be happening. Yeah, at WrestleMania. Being Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey versus Triple H and Stephanie. Yes. Um, Kurt Angle apparently figured out that Stephanie and Triple H were not only executives, Mm -hmm. but they were also active superstars because they had two different contracts. Yeah. That was really very strange reasoning. Um, But yeah, since since they are technically superstars, Kurt Angle is allowed to book them in matches Mm -hmm. because he makes the matches. True. And he made that happen. How weird was that, that when Stephanie was obviously making everything to be about money Mm -hmm. and talking about Kurt paying alimony to Jeff Jarrett's current wife, (laughs) who was just going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame this year. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Yeah, Um, it's good stuff. But the idea... That they're using money as like leverage is just strange. It's that's like a like a '90s or an '80s kind of thing. Yeah, because yeah. nowadays it's no secret that athletes make good money. Well, yeah. Well, because she was kind of saying that you know you're not a wrestler anymore. You're what? Do, what are your gold medals going to do for you now? That's that's fair. Yeah. But still, obviously. I mean, come on. This this past survivor series right or was it no 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 it was uh tlc it was the first time that he's gotten in the ring in uh seven Eleven, years or no, 11, it was like 11, 11 years, 11 years whatever it was yeah, yeah. so oh, yeah WWE. and then uh to end the segment ronda hits stephanie with a samoan drop yeah that was surprising a little bit i you know it's funny hmm. i'm reading what happened mm-hmm. i could have swore this happened weeks ago <laughs> that, well that's the thing that's if 
we're gonna get this every week. It's just kind of all gonna blend together. Yeah. So, but yeah, the big takeaway is the fact she hit a Samoan drop. Yeah. Um, which is just strange, I guess. That, like you had said, that they think maybe it was just a simple move that looked yeah. good. Looked so good. Yeah. To do that, but mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah, we got another good match between Asuka and Nia Jax. Mm-hmm. Um, two of them work well together in their what is the third match they've had or is this just their second on the main roster uh they might have had more than that yeah. actually but uh yes they have all yeah. been good they've all been naya's big strong durable and mm-hmm. asuka just finds a way to sneak out the win yep asuka uh, held on to the arm bar for a long for time the triangle triangle right she uh, had the triangle arm bar oh yeah she whatever. had the triangle choke on yeah the triangle choke um, yeah and then eventually she naya had almost powered out of it mm-hmm. but asuka countered that with uh with the arm bar and then she eventually had a tap after like yeah. a minute and uh, with this loss for naya they're they're kind of building up Alexa versus Nia here. Yeah, it, it would make the most sense, despite the fact that having Asuka go to SmackDown doesn't make any sense. Because um, uh, if they do do a draft, they can do that anyway. With, right, without you swap champions, yeah. it doesn't matter, yeah. Um, but uh, but it, it does seem like they're going to... Because later on in the night, they did a segment where uh, Alexa Bliss was comforting Nia Jax by saying all the yeah, bad comforting. things. comforting that loss that's i must be embarrassed yeah and then all the things that happened to you as a kid and all the children were making fun of you because you were bigger than them and stuff like that and then naya was seen crying at this point yeah so that that, that's that's where it would make sense that they're going for that which would be fine you know what i mean because at least there's a story behind it yeah and it also it'll be a match that they can make short Mm -hmm. and it won't take up too much time Without it feeling rushed. Yep. Because sometimes they'll cut matches short and they'll feel rushed. But with this one, if it's not that long, it's no, no one's going to really notice. Yeah, yeah that's true. It's kind of like the um, the match last year with uh, Cena and The Miz with the mixed oh, tag right, match. right, yeah. It wasn't long, mm-mm. but it didn't need to be Did, long. No, not at all. Well, because then the segment that followed it kept... Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying <laughs> no, that I gotcha. just in terms of like the necessary time for mm-hmm. whatever... Um, um, we got the revival versus the bar, where the revival were unsuccessful at beating the bar, therefore not getting a shot at WrestleMania. Yeah, because so, that was the stipulation going into the match. Yeah, so it seems like the bar has no opponents right now for WrestleMania, and they keep on going on Twitter and saying who's next. Right, and there's there's been uh, rumors, I guess, that they were going to face a team. Not that's not a team right now mm-hmm. at WrestleMania, yeah. or they might not even wrestle, and they may have something to do with just backstage segments and things like that. But unfortunately, they can't pull, like pull a new day. Yeah, and no, like, I know. host the the yeah. thing. If anybody should host WrestleMania, it should be Elias. That would make sense. I, if if he wasn't getting crapped on like he's been getting crapped on, maybe match it wise, or yeah, he's yeah. been getting destroyed. Like I know, I know they're just having him kill time with Strowman, but you know it would make sense for if they were just like building him up a little more. Yeah. Um, although it's still technically possible, but I don't think they want to do the host thing anymore. Especially if weird with a heel, probably yeah, being a host as well. Although it'd be really obnoxious, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, they'd probably kill him. Like, yeah. The, the amount of. The amount of like booze that you would get like the entire time, mm-hmm. but I, I did like your idea for the tag title match at Mania. Oh, with Cold Dust and <laughs> Cena. Yeah, because we got in uh, an interesting confrontation between John Cena and Gold Dust because John Cena was on Raw again this week, which was weird, and he was not at SmackDown. No, nope. but he was only at Raw to promote the Fast Lane pay per view, which was also weird. <laughs> but but he said that. The only reason why he's saying this on Raw is because he knows that if he did it on SmackDown, that he'd be interrupted by the other people in no. the Six Pack Challenge. No, no, no. The reason he didn't do it is because he would have screwed up their plans on SmackDown because we got a Fatal Five Way instead of the Six Pack Challenge. That's also true, uh, but he could come up with his own reasons. It's true. Um. Anyway. Yeah, because yeah, there's been just that. That's kind of been the uh, focal point. Is the speculation on who's going to be john cena's opponent at wrestlemania yeah um, at least on the internet um but yeah cena says that he's going to win at <clears> fast lane 
and that AJ should uh, re- uh, invoke his rematch clause right. and make it a triple threat match at WrestleMania between him, AJ, and Nakamura, mm-hmm. which would be good. Yeah, which I think AJ had said that he doesn't want to do that. No, he does not want to do yeah. that, no. So, um, that's either that. way. Yep. So, so, for some reason, mm. the interrupting um, uh, Cena is Goldust. Mm. Um, he comes out, and he says that... Um, Said he's going to stop Cena's road to WrestleMania or something like that. <laughs> it was just bizarre, which is appropriate. Fitting. Yeah. Um, apparently, Cena and Goldust have never wrestled before, mm-hmm. um, or at least against each other in singles match. Um, yeah. And uh, so they had a singles match. Yep. And, and uh, John Cena won. That's not There's a surprise. A lull Cena wins. Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> Uh, so. But yeah, no, your idea was to have uh, John Cena and Goldust. Yeah, that works. As a tag team. Why it's not? Pretty good. It's it's I like, like it. well, you have Goldust and the rapper, <laughs> just like you had with our truth. <laughs> I guess that's true. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, yeah, we got to see Braun versus Elias in an actual match. A because... symphony of destruction yes, match. Yes. Um, it was pretty funny. Yeah. I mean, Elias got his uh, his shots in there, but overall, Braun just destroyed him. You know, you skip a lot, right? Oh, I thought we were only talking about important, uh, you know, things Fair that enough. actually Fair happened. Enough. Do Fair we enough. really need to talk about Bailey versus Mandy Rose? Well, no, but what happened at the end of it was, yeah, it's not that important yet. No, anyway. no, yeah. that was just all right. Fine, you can talk. Yeah. I guess we well, just got more build into the Sasha and Bailey thing. Yeah. Well, which no, really it wasn't. Yeah, the match was uh, not important. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the match happens. Bailey wins. She gets attacked by a- Absolution. Mm-hmm. Sasha comes out for the save. They fend off Absolution. Uh, Sasha goes for a hug. Bailey's like, uh uh-uh. uh. And, <laughs> and <laughs> those then, were the words that came out of her mouth. Yes. Um, and then Sasha leaves looking all sad. No, Sasha stands in the ring. Mm-hmm. Bailey leaves. Mm-hmm. And that was it. Yeah. So it wasn't necessarily important, but building to another potential WrestleMania match. Yeah. So that part is fair already. enough. That that's fair. Um, we are four days removed from Raw. I yeah. Think. Uh, and bad. after that is that uh, segment they were talking about with uh, Nia Jack crying. Yeah. Because of what the mean things that Alexa was saying to comfort her. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> And then and we then can we start get... talking about the Symphony okay. of the Okay, now, now I'm allowed to. This was very good. Oh, it was it was entertaining, yeah. Because yeah. um, obviously Elias did his thing. We had all instruments out on the stage. We had yep. some drums. We had the guitar. Piano. The key piano. The piano. <laughs> um, yeah, so he was able to play all the instruments, which was fantastic. Mm-hmm. And then he wanted a actual inter- introduction, so he went in the ring and then slowly left the ring and ran to the back <laughs> this was really funny that that they like that they did it like yeah. that and he got into a car and tried to drive away and couldn't go nowhere nope and we see braun is holding up the back of the car so the tires are just spinning yep and uh then that's kind of started things right uh yeah because at that point elias runs back mm-hmm. into the ri- or yeah. back to the oh, ring i'm not finished with you yet <laughs> braun's chasing him and then they make their way to the ring. Yes. Um, so they get into the ring, and then Elias he gets thrown around a little bit. and yeah. then Oh, he, he hit him with the guitar. Yeah, he did hit him with the guitar. Um, uh, but I think that was after Braun threw him around a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. Um, and then eventually they make... Uh, Kurt Angle had made this a, no, a false count anywhere, anywhere, right. anywhere match earlier in the mm-hmm. night. Um so they he, they get to the top of the ramp where all the instruments are. Um, he he hits them again with the with the standing bass, breaks it over yes. his, his back, and then he puts them underneath the piano, starts banging on the keys of the piano, and then he just slams the piano on top. Yeah, of Yeah, he kicked eyes. out one of the legs and it fell down. Yeah. Yep. And then uh, he pinned him. Yep. What was that? Yeah. Um, this is basically we don't know what the hell we're doing with either of these guys. Yeah. Um, well, but there is rumors, and we will talk about that after the next segment. Are, are you talking about with not uh, not Wyatt and Rhino? I'm talking well, about be, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, all right. So before we get into that, we did hear that we are going to get what an ultimate deletion match. Yes. Um, um, Matt apparently, went on to the to the Titantron and yeah. said that the. 
the our, our war cannot be uh bound to the ring or mm-hmm. something like yeah, that. Yeah, and then said we're going to go to the Hardy's compound to yes. have an ultimate deletion match, yeah. which they started filming, I think, yesterday yeah, or the day before. I think I saw a video yeah. saying that that was... So that's that's cool. I don't know when they're going to air it. Um, there was also rumors of just people saying that. I'd imagine that. it's going to be at WrestleMania. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense to have it before then. Yeah. Um, people are joking throwing bray into the was it the lake of reincarnation or something like that and coming back as husky harris <laughs> that'd be funny i wouldn't be surprised if they did something that like would that. be fantastic um but yeah no there was like i said there's rumors of these two teaming wyatt and hardy to face the bar after their deletion ultimate deletion match which wouldn't make sense but it wouldn't but it would work yeah for the two of them to team together because I, I always like that dynamic of two people that yeah. don't necessarily like each other but are tag. yeah well it, you know we see it a lot well we see it a lot more now than we had in the past it's true because they started doing it again yeah because for the longest time it was just yeah. well always the best one would be triple h and stone cold that together. was the best two man power trip right yeah yeah good stuff but um, uh yeah we got a intercontinental title match for WrestleMania set. Yes. It'll be a triple threat with uh, Miz defending against both Seth Rollins and Finn Balor. Yes. Um, but no, there's been chatter about it being a six-person match, possibly. The Intercontinental title? Yes, into a ladder match, because you know how they usually They're going to throw Elias and, and Strowman. There's talk about that. Who would be the sixth person? Uh, Kurt Hawkins. Uh, no. Zack Ryder. <laughs> Hey, he's on SmackDown. So doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He's not. He's not actually Apollo on SmackDown. Cruz. That that would actually kind of make sense. Yeah. Um, no, I, I I don't think that these this group is uh, ladder match fitting. Yeah, it's un not necessary, especially considering that if if Braun brings the steps into the ring, he can reach. <laughs> yeah. So he doesn't need a ladder. Oh god! Um, I'll bring every set of steps into the ring dangerous man it's true um i don't see that happening yeah I, no, I, I'm... I think the reason why well the the i guess part of the reason why is and you know i, I heard some speculation about this is that braun is kind of being kept a because On the back of, burner yeah yeah because of <clears throat> the stuff with the steroids supposedly with roman which i guess luther reigns yeah which um <laughs> apparently is turning into uh uh i guess uh Legit. not a hoax but like no uh, a, a we don't know admit yeah. supposedly or well it's supposed to be a handful of past and present wrestlers that are mm-hmm. included in this so yeah you'd have way. to cancel wrestlemania yeah it's true um anyway <laughs> so uh either that or if brock gets cold feet not cold feet but like you know decides that i don't he see that happening it's possible all. <clears throat> it, it, it's always possible yeah. yes so um i think that's part of the reason maybe why he's just doing the soft stuff with elias um or you know they're just gonna have the two of them wrestle or he's just gonna dominate the uh battle royal and win it this year doesn't make a whole lot of sense but no. either way I, I i could see elias being in a uh, intercontinental title match that would make sense or yeah. him in the andre the giant no well, more. no, no, I'm not saying but that. But I they heard don't... that there was a rumor that they weren't even going to do it this year. Well, I heard two things. I heard that, mm-hmm. and I heard that they're going to make a big stink about it. Oh. Because of the, the Andre the Giant thing. Oh, the HBO thing? Yeah. yeah. And then I heard there was going to possibly be a woman's that battle royale. That I'm pretty sure is happening. Yeah. Which is good. It's, it's not going to be called the Andre the Giant battle royale, though. <laughs> Obviously. No, I'm just saying that. Although They'll probably I, make it like the May Young yeah, Battle Royal or something, something like, like that. that. But the yeah. problem is, who the hell is going to be in it? Mm-hmm. They're going to have so many... Because I think they're going to do Sasha and Bailey. Yeah. So there's going to be at least three singles <clears throat> matches. It's true. We had a couple of releases this week in NXT. I'm sure you, Did you see that? I did not. No. Uh, Abby Lath and Sage Beckett. Yeah. I don't mm. know who they are. Fair enough. So obviously they weren't like... Uh, Abby Reth- wrestled uh, a couple matches in the Mae Young Classic. She was on NXT for a little while. I didn't watch most of it. I didn't. Terrible Being person. honest. Remember what I told you about honesty? It's not good for your health. No. And it makes grown men cry. 
<laughs> exactly. Anyway. Um, yeah, and then basically after this, we get the end of the show. Yes. Which is basically promoting Brock Lesnar for next week on Raw. Uh, yeah. Do you think he's actually going to be there? Mm-hmm. They might They might do it again. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't know, man. What do you think? They're going to work us again? Kind of. I'd be okay with it. I don't care. It doesn't I don't, add anything. He doesn't that, add or... I don't need to see that doughy purple man. I don't, I don't need to see Barney. <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh, man. Uh, him comes you wouldn't out. say that to his face. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> Scary looking, man. Depends how drunk I am. <laughs> So uh, Haven comes out, and he actually he drops a pretty good promo. Uh, and he dropped the universal title in the ring. He did. Roman was not happy about that. No. And then so um, he, he said something about come SummerSlam, he's going to be the UFC champion too, right? Or yeah. Something like that. He because uh, I guess they don't want to stay in the WWE. Mm. Well, although it's been I guess well reported that Lesnar plans on going to. UFC at some yeah, point. Yeah, and anyway. then there was another report saying that Lesnar wanted to stay and Vince didn't want him to stay and some other nonsense. It's just that doesn't sound right. No, but I'm just 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 saying Whatever. what I see, man. Yeah. Um. But yeah, Heyman finishes his hit, his promo. Roman comes out, says, "You picked that title up off the floor, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> it was the the few times that bitch wasn't used in their uh, promos. Yeah. So so uh. And then uh, Roman tells you better tell tells him you better tell your boy that he better be dressed for a fight because shouldn't be dressed for a promo. <laughs> Even though is- Lesnar's never actually dressed for a promo before, he comes out wearing oh, like man. he either comes out wearing his wrestling gear mm-hmm. or he's wearing like track pants. That's it. So yep. whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that was raw. That was raw. And. Uh, so up next, we have, well... Smack diddly down. The go-home show to Fast Lane. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I like how the the show ended. Yeah. No, it was good. I liked it. Yeah. Um, I didn't like um, how it started, though. Yeah, this was a little weird. We, uh, we kind of finally got the reason why the Riot Squad have come together and why they've decided to... It's a very single, single out reason. Charlotte. Um, very bad reason. Yeah, it's 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 not not very good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Charlotte comes out, and then uh, Ruby Riot and the rest of the Riot Squad mm-hmm. come out. Um, <laughs> Ruby goes, the reason why, or we, the reason why we're here is because on I think it was November. 6th, 16th, whatever. whatever sometime in Charlotte, whenever yeah. whenever Charlotte won the title, mm-hmm. um, that day I decided to start the riot squad to make sure or to 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 uh, disprove the illusion that what wasn't the only pay per view in November Survivor Series. Did she went on a SmackDown. Mm, she could have. Yeah, maybe she did. Because she didn't win it at Oh, home, yeah, so. because, yeah, we were thinking it, it, Natalia versus Alexa. Alexa wouldn't have been yeah. good. So, that yeah, maybe that, Although, that was right. That must have happened around the time that AJ won the title, too. Yeah. So <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't yeah. matter. I was just thinking about yeah. it. Um, but, yeah, she, uh, she says that I wanted to disprove the illusion that Charlotte is the face of the women's revolution. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And <laughs> so they, like, they try to, like, hone in on her to i guess beat her up or whatever and then bobby Roode's music hits and then they just leave like what and then charlotte's just standing in the ring all happy and yeah. like oh it's bobby yeah and uh and we went to commercial and all i can assume that happened is that bobby Roode beat up the riot squad <laughs> that's, that's, that's how come the how come the live audience always gets the good stuff that's all okay. I gotta ask. But come on, this led to a Jinder Mahal and Randy Orton match. We got a main event match Quality that match. was what? What did it happen? Three or four different times? Probably three. Uh, to, yeah. In the pay per view, we got the Punjabi prison, the it's regular true. match. Well, it happened. It happened at Backlash. It happened. The Battleground is where the Punjabi prison match. Was. Okay, that was it. Okay. Uh, it happened at Backlash, Money in the Bank, and in Battleground, right? In Battleground. 
Did it happen? It wasn't at SummerSlam. No, right? Nakamura. Nakamura was SummerSlam. Yeah. So yeah, three times. Yeah. Well, no, because that happened. Those matches happened on SmackDown where Randy oh, won. Oh, that's right, the last match. Yeah. So it happened at least four times. Okay. Um, but those were all main events. Mm-mm. Oh, no, Money the, in the Bank. No. Main ev- uh, the the one that was on SmackDown, the Grudge match. When it was that wasn't main event. It wasn't. All right. Event. Well, it doesn't matter because. Yeah, it sucks. I know. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> a lot of not interference, but Randy Orton trying to cause interference in his own match. Yeah. This. So he grabs the the Singh brother that's not hurt, or the one that was actually there, and he throws him. It, it was supposed to go, I guess, onto the announce table, but he throws him clean over the announce table. Yeah. Um. He didn't even clean it off, did he? Oh, no, he did. Oh, did he? I think so. He I went to. Him, think or so. he, he moved things around on it at the very least. <laughs> rustles it up, so it's yeah. just in different locations. Pencils um, are sticking straight up. And then he grabs Jinder and throws him into Bobby Roode. Which yeah, is that's strange. right. Yeah. Um, and uh, so Rude's like, why'd you do that? You did that on purpose mm-hmm. when they're back in the ring. Yeah, he got um, up on the apron. Or it gets distracted, gets hit with the Coloss, <clears throat> and then Jinder wins. Mm-hmm. So does that mean that this is going to lead to a triple threat match at WrestleMania between Probably, the Probably, because, well, yeah, we'll talk about it on our fast lane predictions Come for the Come on, end. pre-show. <laughs> nah, the only, the only problem with that is the fact that I don't think Randy Orton's going to be on the pre-show of WrestleMania. What? I get my royalties. I deserve royalties. Worked with this company for what, fifteen years? And just and that's just like at the main roster. I know. So, um, what else happened that was noteworthy? Um, Sammy still says he would lay down for Owens at Fastlane. Yeah, this. Yeah, that's about it. Which, um, yeah. Oh yeah. Then we uh, got this. These terrible, terrible words on the screen all night long. There was a bunch of them. Yeah. You're talking oh just like the just because they put the emphasis yeah. on the words. Yeah. That's yeah, silly. Somebody posted, I forget what it was. It was on Reddit, but they were they made it an older uh, video and said, "Oh, the 2018." No, it was the 2018 version of CM Punk's pipe bomb and then they just put words on the screen. It was so fitting because that's that's all we've changed. Yeah, makes sense. Yep. Um so we, I get, we also learned that Shinsuke will be facing Rusev at Fastlane. Yeah. Which is uh, good and bad at the same time. This, this, no, I don't think Rusev losing to Nakamura is that big of a deal. No, but, I mean... At least Rusev's not going to be on the pay-per-view. You don't want people in the crowd going Rusev Day throughout the whole match when Shinsuke is going to be... In the main event, I don't, Mania. I, I don't think that really matters. I, I guess I don't know. I think there's much worse things that are going that could possibly go on on oh, Sunday. So. That's absolutely true. So, um, <clears throat> talking about Ruby Riot winning the women's championship, yeah, because that's gonna happen. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, uh, Rusev is mad that uh, in English got hit in the neck or whatever. Well, it was, kicked in the throat. Yeah, by uh, Shin, uh, Shinsuke's knee mm-hmm. the week before. Um, Because he can no longer sing this week. Yeah. So he challenges him on Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, And Nakamura says that when he wins, it will be Nakamura Day. Yes. Which is actually pretty good. Oh, it was was good. I I like that segment. It was good. Um, Yeah, and then... uh, Becky Lynch versus Carmella. Yeah. um, I guess they're kind of doing something here. Seems like... Well, I mean, this technically led to another match that's going to happen at Fastlane. Kind of. Um, so the match ends, Becky wins, obviously. Yeah, well, this um, all happened because of last week on Twitter, right? Yeah, didn't... which is funny, because that wasn't on TV. <laughs> so last week. I'm like, right. We didn't oh, yeah, see yeah, this. Yeah, that's right. Um, anyway, so Naomi's backstage with uh, Natalia. Did we say that Becky won? Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. Um, and then uh, Naomi, or Natalia wins, uh, goes... Um, the only reason why she, or I don't know, it's something <laughs> stupid. It ended up being Naomi challenges Natalia to a tag match between, uh, with her, with her and Becky against Natalia and Carmella, and that's going to happen on Sunday. It's going to be a pre-show. Doesn't matter. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be on the pre-show. What else is going to be on the pre-show? <laughs> Bojo versus Ty Dillinger. Fair enough. You're right. Okay, it's probably going to be on the main card. The Bludgeon Brothers destroy two jobbers. That could also happen. Or they're going to interfere in the tag title match, and then it'll set up a triple threat 
tag title match. So I don't, I don't like that idea. Well, I think it's to put. I think that would be all right to set that up as a triple threat for a WrestleMania. No, I already know what I want for a WrestleMania. All match. right, are we gonna talk about that in the. We can talk about it now. Okay, it doesn't really well, matter since it's so your idea. What let's I hear want. About it. What I want is the new day, <laughs> the Usos, and Shelton Benjamin and Kat, Chad Gable in a TLC triple threat match. Okay. That'd be awesome. Okay. It would be really good. Yeah, but... I, I, I know f- it's not going to happen, but it'd be very good. I feel like what they can do here with the Usos and the New Day and the Bludgeon Brothers is kind of replicate the Revival DIY and the Authors of Pain, where you have two powerhouses that are supposedly, you know... Indestructible? Yes. That'd be good, too. But I don't see the New Day being the DIY team. Because that's, that's where they would yeah, fit. Yeah, I guess so. That's the only problem with that, is that they're not the underdogs. Yeah, that's fair. Unless you, like, have Big E get hurt. I don't know. They they haven't set up for a good future for the SmackDown tag I think, division, as far as adding another team that can dominate. Well, I think the they're planning on the draft, so they're not really caring about what's going on. Yeah, I forward. guess that's true, but we don't even have any confirmation on that. It's true. But like, what is Backlash after? I think it's the next one afterwards. Yeah. But I don't think they really need to announce it until mm-hmm. after Mania. Like, that'll be probably something Vince comes out the day after WrestleMania. Like he did this like year. The, yeah. Or last year, I guess, at this point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. Wow. Not a lot happened on SmackDown, man. No, it was... Uh, well, you got to remember, the entirety of the 9 o'clock hour had AJ. Well, that's Ziggler what I was thinking. It. I was like, all right, so we just hit the first hour, and then the second hour we got AJ versus Ziggler. Yeah. And then, what? That was like at least 15 minutes yeah, long, yeah, just yeah, the singles absolutely. match. Mm-hmm. Uh, and cause... Owens and Zayn came down and started attacking them. Yeah. And then, uh, everybody's favorite, it was, Mr. Shano. It was Mac. funny the way they did it. Because it was the four of them, so I was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be a tag, tag team match. match. So, well, at least he alluded to that. You know? No, well, yeah, Shane came out and was like, I know what you guys are thinking, <laughs> that I'm going to come out here and make a tag match. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to invite this guy, talking about Baron Corbin, and we're going to make this a fatal five-way. So we're going to give you the original fast lane yeah. fatal five-way. Which is funny, because this match itself was like a half hour long. Yeah. So... I mean, it was good. So. Oh, no, it was, it was entertaining. It's just yeah. crazy how long that they... Granted, Raw had that long, long, long gauntlet match a couple yeah. weeks ago. I know. But, you know, it's funny. Now I think about it, we kind of got that. It wasn't the same structure. No, but, but it yeah, it took up the half show. the show, basically. Yeah. yeah. So. And, uh, surprisingly, Sami Zayn won. Yeah. Um, so, what had happened was, I believe... Corbin and Ziggler were out of the ring. Mm-hmm. Uh, AJ was going for the forearm on Owens. Uh, Owens or Owens and Zane kind of like pushed him out of the way, mm-hmm. um, knocked him out of the ring. Owens is kind of like taking a breather, gets pushed into the corner by or no, he ends up he takes his breather in the corner mm. and then just gets <clears> nailed <throat> in the head with the huluva blue. kick. Yeah. And then he pins him, or Zane pins him. Mm-hmm. I liked it. Definitely a shocker here. Yeah. Good, good win for Sammy. At least a big win, you know. Yeah, the guy deserves it. It's true. Um, and then after the the match, he's interviewed, asking why he betrayed his friend. Mm-hmm. And then he was talking about how he's been overlooked, and that while Owens has uh, helped his career. He still thinks that he's under underrated and everything, mm. and uh, so. And this was not fast lane, so it had nothing to do with him laying down for Kevin Owens. It's true that it still very well could happen. That's what the whole match should be: just Kevin yeah. Owens trying to constantly <laughs> pin Sami Zayn and somebody pulling him out. I wouldn't be surprised if that happens at least a couple times. Yeah. So I, I definitely think that would make for at least entertaining mm-hmm. TV. Yeah. Um. No, John Cena. No, but we kind of... No Usos, no New Day. We just got a video package of them. Yeah, that was odd. Yeah. No Bludgeon Brothers. Yeah. There was no Tag Teams, period. It's just... We haven't seen Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable since they lost their uh, rematch, right? They only have so much time. 
Yeah, I realize that. They have that, to give but... entrances to everybody. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. Like, like just the SmackDown show in general, how it's set up. It's, it's just, not good. It's No, but it doesn't make sense how they do it. It's no, that's, like, that's what I mean, though. It's not, it's not structured well. Right. It's like we have this group of talent, and those are the only people we're going to put on the show. Mm-hmm. And it's the same thing Whereas every week. Raw, you almost get the entire... Roster? Right. Yeah. Well, well, you, well, let, let's, let's be a little more clear. You don't get the entire roster. You get a wider variety of pieces. There well, aren't feuds that actively get ignored. Right. But also, I think on Raw, you have more people that you can say, all right, we're going to insert you here. It's not going to look weird. SmackDown, you just have, all right, yeah. here's your main eventers. Here's your tag teams. All right, that's it. Yeah. Because with like the, the six-pack challenge on Sunday... You, well, you, the only other person you can really put into there besides John Cena... Is Orton? No, well, I was going to say Nakamura, oh, but he yeah, can't yeah. be in it. Right. So, because Orton right oh, now... Oh, has his feud yeah. with yeah. Bob Roode. Well, more of... But I'm just saying that like he would be the only person who feels like he's up to that level. I gotcha. And if Orton wasn't feuding with him, you'd right. just end up replacing him with Ziggler instead of it feeling yeah. like, oh, anybody could be in this. Um. I don't know if you saw, but there was talk about what Owens and Zayn are supposedly doing at WrestleMania. Andre the Giant battle. No way. Royal. Yep. Really? That's that's what the they're talk. They're not gonna have the two of them. That's what the talk was recently. That must mean that they're not splitting them up then. Because you, you have to have a match between the two of them if we're... Yeah, I don't know, but you know that could change because that I really sucks. Feel like this WrestleMania, there's still a lot up in the air oh, there's a ton because well, there's i think everything is going to start getting cemented after this week after fast lane yeah. well i think we'll finally get a clearer picture of the women's titles on yes. both shows well, well we'll know i mean there's always the possibility of a cash in yeah that's you know i was thinking that where um at fast lane mm-hmm. charlotte ends up losing mm. and then carmella cashes in on ruby or yeah um because that would make a lot more sense right but the whole well it would have to be charlotte um like wins but becky and naomi or it loses i should Mm -hmm. say but becky and naomi are there right kind of canceling out the riot squad and then carmella sneaks in while i guess that's true yeah Yeah. so but because i it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have Carmella versus Asuka or Carmella versus anybody right. at WrestleMania. Yeah. And when is Money in the Bank? June? Yeah, she's July, got time. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, they, but I mean. I, I would honestly like to see her have a failed cash in on Asuka. I know. But I mean, dear, like, it's the same thing. It's the first time they're doing it, you know? Would they really do a failed cash in? It's always the possibility. There's no reason why but, they can't. Yeah. I think with her, it was kind of like a. A distinct possibility to begin with. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, because it was her claim to feel fame for so long, and then she just fizzled out and hasn't done a single thing. Yeah. This is the first um, time we've seen her wrestle in a while, I think. Although I would also like the idea of her cashing in on Alexa Bliss. Yeah. that That is much more believable, mm-hmm. and it would be better writing if she does the other show. Right. So... That, like Alexa steals a victory over Nia at Mania or something like that. Yeah, and, or even if it happens on a yeah, Raw. But... Like, when Carmel's not even supposed to be there. Yeah. That'd be cool. So, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Or they could wait, yeah, do that when everything will be dual-branded. Yeah, it's true. It's like, oh, well, I'm here, I might as well. Right. Because... Oh, yeah, they could draft her to a different show. Yeah. Yeah. And she'll still have the briefcase. Right. Right. That is true. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all we have for this week of WWE TV. Yes. Um... I guess we could say 205 Live and Mixed Match Challenge. We're good. Um, yeah. The the, the Cruiserweight uh, title uh, tournament has been spot on. Oh, yeah. Um, the, the writing in general has been has been good. Drew Gulak has this new intensity, which is nice mm-hmm. to see. Yeah. Because he... He's proven that he has more dimensions to his character, right? Because right. before Which we we, we kind of knew he, yeah. there was untapped potential. It, it was him. great because before his match, he's like, "I could tell you um, why I'm acting the way I am 
I could even give uh, I can even put it in a PowerPoint presentation. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. So that's yep. good because he, you know, he does the, does the nods to like his old stuff. And mm-hmm. It's good stuff. Yep. And we saw Mustafa Ali defeat Buddy Murphy to go on to the next round, which was a little surprising because this brings up. Drew Gulak versus Mustafa Ali again. again. And what do we get? A two out of three falls match, right? Yeah, um, they they had a long, long or not a long feud. Well, that was the whole start to the no fly zone. Yeah, thing. it was against him. Mm-hmm. So, oh, what whatever. was the other match? Um, oh, the other match. Yeah. It was. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, Mark Andrews versus yes, uh, uh, Buddy Murphy. S- no, 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 no. Ced- not Cedric. Uh, Roderick Strong, right? No. No, he lost to Ali. Oh, it was Gulak versus. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's yeah. right. Yes, yes, that's yes. Right. That's right. I remember now. Yeah. It's oh no, Gul- no Gulak fought. Yeah, Gulak fought. I uh, thought Andrews. Andrews. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, yeah. Ali he beat Murphy. Beat Murphy. Yeah. There we go. A um, little interesting the way they booked Murphy to be the best kept secret, and you give him a win, and then that was it. Yeah. Kind of made a big that, deal. That that did surprise me. A little bit, but I, think- I didn't think he was going over Ali. Did you see Ali's uh, promo that he cut? Out on uh, Twitter, nope. I think. Oh, it was really good. I'll show you afterward. Um, but yeah, no good things moving forward. Mm-hmm. Rumors of cruiserweight tag titles, which yeah. you kind of have a show for just these guys. You would think there would be more than one title. It's it at true. least opens up the possibility. Um, so it looks like what um, Hideo Tommy and Akira Tozawa oh, are yeah, probably going to be the tag match. So probably going to be the first. Team seems least. fair because Atami otherwise hasn't done anything. Yeah, so. yeah, and a guy who had such, all the potential yeah, in the world, and he had a good run elsewhere. Canada WWE yep. was hurt the whole time. Yeah, yeah, and so. uh, we saw Alexa Bliss and Braun Strowman move on, beating who's Jimmy Uso yes, and Naomi. Naomi. Uh, great, um, great back and forth between. Uh, Bobby Roode and uh, not Bobby Roode between Charlotte and uh, Rusev. and Rusev on the, in the comments. That was definitely entertaining. Yep, and we got some. Uh, we had a couple good spots with uh, Alexa Bliss getting caught by Braun Strowman and yeah, had some awkward moments. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Alexa was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" And Braun was, you know, and, giving her the eyes and everything. Yeah. It was good stuff. And Braun said they're going all the way again. Yep. Yes, he did. So, um, good stuff. Yeah. I don't know what's. What's after this? I guess there's just going to be a thing that happens, a mix match challenge, and then I hope so. Go goes away. Right. Well, no, no, no. It'd be nice if they did like more mm-hmm. of them. Like they finish it, and then like a few months later, they start a new one. Yeah, unless it, they're going to make it more of a normal thing. Well, yeah. So, like, I mean, I don't know if it's building, you know, to the whole Ronda Rousey mix match. Oh no, 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 no. Well, not not that per se, but you know, to kind of get you used to men and women and then maybe doing more of a maybe they'll have the mainstream match tag team championships i don't think so i know but that something yeah i don't know whatever yeah it's been fun while it's been lasting yeah absolutely even if the ratings haven't been great but whatever doesn't matter it's not like they're gonna cancel the tournament halfway through we went over this the last time yeah the only only audience that are going to watch it live are the ones who like are here in the yeah. united states well right because yeah, you yeah, can yeah. only watch in the united states mm-hmm. live yep. and even if you could watch it elsewhere yeah it's the time the time zones really mess it mm-hmm. up that's so, true so yeah. that's definitely has a lot to do with uh, the viewership numbers yeah so. all right yep. so that is all we have for you guys this week yes if you liked what you saw here please like share and subscribe bye bye